What's up guys, and today, just after iOS 12 was released yesterday, we have the iOS 12 beta one for all developers being released today. This update comes in at like 2.8 gigabytes on my iPhone 10, so it is a pretty hefty update. Hopefully this means some new features coming to our devices, so let's check for those and maybe some other changes as well. Before we get started, if you guys need a configuration profile for the betas, there's a link in the description below just in case you all wanted to hop back on to the betas. So it looks like Apple is sort of bypassing any possible iOS 12.0.1 version and we're just on to 12.1 right away. Now that is most likely due to getting some pretty major features in this version. But with that being said, group FaceTime is still not active in iOS 12.1 beta one. It's absolutely not working for me at all. I don't see any indication that it's back and actually going throughout the entire beta, I cannot find anything new. No new emojis, no new animals, emojis. In fact, the only things that might have been added is further customization in Mimoji. There still isn't any new wallpapers either, which is of course super disappointing, and I'm sort of wondering why we have this very lackluster beta update. Now, past those new features and changes, I wanted to run some benchmarks to see if performance has been affected at all, and it looks like we're pretty much getting the similar scores to before. The CPU single core came in at 4,267, and the multi-core at 10,308. For the compute or GPU side of things, we have a 15,449, which is pretty much right around what we were getting in iOS 12. So with all that being said, performance in actual use is pretty much the same as well. I'm not feeling any difference in the performance of the UI, and honestly, I can't really say that there's any difference in benchmarks either. So this kind of begs the question, what is this update for? I'm sort of disappointed right now with beta one as we really aren't fighting anything tangible to call new. So with that being said, guys, that's iOS 12.1. I'm so sorry that there's really nothing new and nothing really to report back on, but our hopes will be set for beta two, hopefully coming next week. So stay tuned for more news on that. And we hope to see you in some of our upcoming content.